Good morning. Woo woo. So we are diving into like the super woo stuff. And I've had some people asking me what exactly are witch wounds. Um, some people are picking up on it right away and some are not. So I thought I would just jump on here and explain what I actually mean by witch wounds. And so first and foremost, if you are a witch, if you're in the Wiccan, if you're in any of that, it is not any disrespect. And I have the utmost um, respect and kudos for everyone who is choosing that path. I think it's phenomenal, the gift that it can provide your life. Um, so, hey, good morning, everyone. Love it, love it, love it. Say hi. Um, ooh, we got like a whole bunch of people on. This is great. So, um, so the witch wounds, clearing the witch wounds, probably if you are on my friends list, you've gotten an invitation from me recently um, because I want to make sure that everyone has the opportunity to jump into the seven day live stream that I'm doing. Um, it is, hey morning Bob, it is targeted for women um, because primarily that is where I'm seeing the biggest impact. Good morning Tracy. Um, I'm seeing that's the biggest impact for people for these, what we call the witch wounds. Um, so it doesn't mean that men, you can't join this group. It's just that it's like, that's where I'm going with my language. That's where I'm doing. So as long as you are not offended with occasionally me calling, you know, everybody, you know, she, her in the group, then you're welcome to come and play as well. So, um, that's what's going on there with the invite and then witch wounds. Okay. So the witch wounds are something that I've been playing around with for the last couple of months and it is blowing my mind, blowing my mind. Now, if you've followed me at all, you know that I have been doing this work for 30 years. I've been working with clients for the past 25 years. Um, morning, Karen. And, you know, so I have, you know, dove into some really big, deep shit and this is fucking blowing my mind. Um, what it's untangling, what it's unraveling. And so I really felt the call this week of like, this is what I'm doing. This is what we're doing. You know, I've got Thursday, we've got the badass marketing course. So we're doing all the tactical stuff in there. Yes, there is still space to jump in the last minute, plug, plug. Um, but Friday, we are kicking off the seven day live stream. Love it, guys. Yeah, make sure you guys say hi um, and drop in your comments. Like maybe drop in what you think which wounds is for you before I get into my explanation. Um, because, you know, it's going to resonate differently for everyone. So it's not important that you agree or disagree with <laughs> for which explaining it to me. Oh my God, Amanda, I love you. That is awesome. I'm totally going to borrow that. Which explaining. <laughs> yes, we are which explaining this stuff. Um, so for me, the witch wounds is the imprint, hola Jennifer, um, the imprint that has happened as a result of, you know, the witch hunts that happened in the 1700s. So, and I always think it's weird that we say 1700s when it was like 16 something. I don't know. To me, that would seem like it should be the 1600s. Anyway, um, just a little side note. <laughs> so so during the 1700s, in particular, you know, most notable was the Salem witch hunts because that was like the biggest of all of the witch hunts. But it was happening throughout all of the 1700s across the globe. And you think about it, you think about what happened at that time and what the imprint would be, whether you were cursed or not cursed, whether you were tried or not tried, um, you would have that imprint because on a you know, whole societal scale, there was this mass frenzy going on and, you know, all of that energy, whichever side you were on, there was all of this craziness going on. And when we have in a highly charged situation, it gets imprinted into our system. So here's the thing. Maybe you don't believe in past lives, in which case, like there is clear evidence coming down now for epigenetic things being passed on. So down through the lineage, we have things passed on. So maybe you are a direct descendant of somebody who did suffer or was part of the witch hunt either side. And so you have that imprint in your DNA because of it. Or if you believe in, in past lives, then at some point you were part of it and in one of your past lives. So this is kind of the angle that I'm coming at it is from the past life. But if you don't believe in that, it will still work. It still runs. Energy is energy. And the intention to clear it is all that is required to clear things. Um, hey, guys, Don, Christine, Dan. Yeah, make sure you guys say hi. Put it in the comments. Say hello. 
um, that also helps to spread the reach out a little bit more. So we keep on with our witch in <laughs> ancestral imprints. Yes, Karen. I, yeah, it's another way to say it. I love that too. Um, and, and, you know, there's some really amazing stuff. I've really been playing around a lot with the whole, you know, ancestral lines and clearing the lines. And so, you know, creating new ways to create freedom, new ways to explore. Um, the energy work is so fascinating. I absolutely love this. So that's, you know, the, the witch wounds are those things that got imprinted when we survived, when we went through it, when we witnessed it. Maybe we witnessed somebody being burned at the stake. Maybe we knew who they were. Maybe we were wrongly accused, but we were put in jail. Um, yes, Helen, there is still witch stuff in this lifetime, uh, just not so openly. Yeah, there's still prosecution going on. We are definitely in a time where it is a lot safer to declare that you are a witch. It's a lot safer to declare that you you know, you do holistic healing and, and the healing powers are another piece, right? So um, one of the other big things for me and why I'm linking this to wealth is that some of the women who were persecuted, some of the women who were charged were thrown in jail as a way to take their land, to take their wealth. And so this is for me where the biggest link and impact for women standing in their power, which of course I'm all about business, right? So if you are gonna rock your business, you have to stand in your power. You have to be willing to make money. You have to be willing to be visible. You have to be willing to accumulate wealth, right? Um, oh, more so than 50 years ago. Interesting, I guess, cause I'd love for you to say more about that. Why is it more so than 50 years ago? Um, Helen, I, yeah, put that in, or maybe we can make that a discussion in the group. So, you know, the point with the live stream is that we are going to be diving into looking at the witch wounds, looking at, you know, getting you ready to clear on a deeper level, um, looking at all of these aspects, diving into some of the history, you know, where did it come from? Why did it get there? And, um, and starting to move this shit so that women can rise up, right? Um, more so acceptable. Oh, more than 50 years ago. Okay, yes, absolutely. So here's the other big piece for me with, with women and why I'm like making this group about women is that in the witch hunts, some of women, some women accused other women. And so it's like the ultimate betrayal. And we wonder why women don't support women in business, why we see that the vast majority are catty and backstabbing and all the horrible things that we hear about women in business and not everybody i know there's a lot of people on this live right here who are totally dedicated to supporting your your fellow sisters in business but there is that general piece and i think there's still some of that betrayal stuff going on in our systems that don't make it safe for us to trust um so I am blowing the doors wide open. I'm so excited. Um, there is so much being downloaded for what I'm doing. Um, <clears throat> it is not about my brain getting in the way. This is about me following my divine guidance, um, following my power. Yes. So, um, so if this resonates with you, thank you, Helen. Um, if this resonates with you, like get in the group. If you haven't gotten an invitation or you're not on my friends list, get in the group. Join us. It is a free seven day live stream. And then there will of course be an offer to go into something even deeper. So, but the seven day is going to be epic on its own. And I'm really so excited about what it's gonna create and shift for people um, on a mass level. So invite all your friends. If you're in the group, invite your friends, please, please, please. Cause I think way more people need to know about this. Way more people need to get clear and break free of this bullshit, break free of the witch wounds because it is time. It is time for us to rise up together. Absolutely. Okay. Put your comments in, say hello, are you in? I know I've seen a lot of you who are already in the group and you're commenting in the group and I just love that. You guys are amazing. So once again, clear witch wounds to open to wealth is the group. Um, I will try to get back in here and drop in a link. So if you're not already in the group, get yourself in there, seven day free live stream, clearing out the witch wounds and getting things rocking for you and your business. All right. Oh, hashtag replay, forget to the replay. Ah. <laughs>